Menards has UTLX tank cars back in stock and a new offering. And we're going to take a look next on Mark's Lionel Trains. Welcome back to Mark's Lionel Trains. And if you're just stopping by for the first time, welcome. You're all welcome, that's for sure. I'm going to take a look at what I did a video on about two and a half years ago. Uh, the Menards Black UTLX Tank Cars. This dealer pack is the one that I bought after I bought the first one that I did on the Mark's Lionel Trains Gets Tanked video. Look at the side of the box, you get uh, six tankers in the uh, carton. And on the side, this is carton number 96 of 167. So that's how you would uh, get these uh, when you order them uh, on Menard's website. And they'll ship right to your door. Or you can order to go to uh, go pick it up in store, that's for sure. So let's open up the first one and take a look at the old tank cars. If you're not familiar with these, these are the Menard's Black UTLX tank cars. From a few years ago, they seem to uh, be the same as they were the last time Menards issued these. So we'll open this up. This one has been opened, so we'll get it out of the packaging. And uh, you can take a look. These are really, really nice. These black tank cars are really cool. Uh, the only complaint I've gotten from commenters on the last video is the uh, safety stripes are a little bit out of scale on these. Uh, but... You know, they look okay. Uh, they're pretty good. They roll really nice. Uh, it has the usual uncoupler problem. Uh, so I have probably put rubber bands on this one. I'm not sure if this one was a problem or not. So these are really cool. So we'll put this off to the side and we'll uh, take a look at the new offering from Menards. And there's the side of the box there. These are the UTLX white modern tank cars so we're going to check this out and see how they look and let's open this up and there's your first look at the white tank car well, that's pretty neat that looks really really cool very different usually when uh, i see these around my local area on the rails they uh, only have like one or two of these mixed in with a, a whole bunch of black ones so this is really cool all right well Got our knife out here, and they usually tape the side. I always open the bottom of the box because I don't want to do any damage to the top of the car. There you go. And we'll pop this open. Oh, nice. And we'll take a look. Ooh, that is really cool. Very, very nice. And look, they seem to have fixed the safety stripes. These are more in scale. Those look really good. I definitely like the, the writing there on the uh, side of the tank. Awesome, very nice. They changed a little bit of the UTLX name on the side there. That's pretty cool. Here's a look at the back of the car. It's a little bit crooked, but it's okay. It happens from time to time. Let's see how the wheel spin is. Yeah, very good, like usual. And this one is good too. And we'll see how the couplers hold out. Uh, Menards is uh, unfortunately known for uh, uncoupling uh randomly that's for sure so all right let's get this on the layout and uh see how it looks pretty cool and there's your first look at the tank cars on the layout they are uh, really cool i only bought one of the white ones right now because i wasn't really sure how i'd like it um it seems to be okay so i might order another one that's for sure now that they've fixed these safety stripes those really look good i i have to say uh, a little bit about the tank cars, uh, they're home uh, 
is in Chicago, here in uh, my hometown, and uh, they are built by uh, Union Tank Car Company, and uh, that's an old company. They've been around uh, many, many years, that's for sure, uh, probably uh, probably about uh, World War II time or maybe even before. I'm not really sure, but uh, definitely glad that uh, Menard's got these uh, black ones back in stock. These are really cool. I'm not sure if they're going to repeat the numbers, so I probably won't order any more of the black ones. I have uh, quite a long string of these, that's for sure. So I do love the printing here on the side of the tank, and they have this new printing here uh, on, on down here in yellow that is not on the uh, black cars, that's for sure. So, but yeah, I really like these cars uh, for the price, you know, 25 bucks. You can't go wrong. I think you get uh, one free if you get the dealer pack, and uh, six cars come in the dealer pack, so... I think we're going to uh, run these around the layout and see how the couplers hold out. This is going to be a string of the most tank cars I've ever run on Mark's Lionel trains. I think there's like 18, uh, 18 of these uh, that we're going to be running behind my uh, RF and P GP35. So let's uh, get this uh, going and run some trains. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Uh, definitely uh, your comments are much appreciated. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, definitely uh, thanking all the subscribers. We're a little bit over 1,800 subscribers now, and that's really awesome. So, all right, let's do the fun part and run the trains. That's what this is all about. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. I'm definitely not a young guy anymore, and uh, these trains are definitely going to outlive me. So for the next guy, I always include uh, this little slip of paper in dealer packs and locomotives and train cars that I buy that this uh, this particular car or dealer pack has been featured on Mark's Lionel trains. All right, uh, I've also covered, like I said, these cars in my Mark's Lionel trains gets tanked video. That's the original one from two and a half years ago. A, a commenter on that video um, mentioned that I should run a crush car or an old box car or something between the locomotive and the flammable tank cars and the uh, caboose and the tank cars. Uh, however, today I'm going to uh, not have anybody in the caboose, so the caboose will be empty, so it'll be uh, perfectly fine to uh, run that without a crush car. I'm just using that for the blinking light in the back. This is a dispatcher. Do you copy? Roger that, dispatcher. I read you. Over. Start up and get ready to move. Over. Thanks, dispatcher. We're ready to move. This is the dispatcher. You're clear to pull. Over. Roger that. We have a clear signal. Out. Just like Menards, we already have a uh, unplanned uncoupling, so I'm going to uh, have to fix that. I'll let it come around so you can see it, and uh, it's the new white car. So you got to have a supply of little rubber bands to uh, fix the couplers, that's for sure. So, all right, I will uh, fix this, and we'll uh, get back to running the trains. All right, let's try this again and see if we can uh, hold them together this time. So one big drawback of Menards, and it is a problem, so I'm glad this happened. I can bring this to your attention, uh, making you aware and uh, advising you uh, that this is a problem.